What do you want to do when you grow up? What do you want to do? What do you want to do when you grow up? It ain't very far off, you know. I know. It ain't far off. You better start thinking now. I want to have two children, and I want to be a marine biologist. You want to be two children? No, I want to have two children. Well, you can do that anytime. What do you want to be when you grow up? Oh. What career do you want? I want to be a marine biologist, sort of. We could be out in the water and yeah. leave your kids for day, for weeks and weeks at a time. Then I won't do I'll do. I want to act. You want to act? I want to be an actor. Oh. That's probably not going to happen. What happened to the veterinarian? No, I couldn't. She stand. died. I couldn't stand seeing animals sad, especially cats. <laughs> she. <laughs> That's why you're a vet? Because you can help them. Then some of you got out. I was telling the, the girls about me piercing mom's ears. <laughs> They're going to go get their ears pierced. I was telling them, they said, how did we get mine pierced? I said, we took ice cube and stuck a needle in her ear. <laughs> that felt so painful. And I got one pierced. We did one with a needle and an ice cube. I thought it hurt. So this one, they did without. No ice cube, no nothing, just choo. And that one was easier, I thought, than the other one. Did the ice help it? No. No. I didn't use no I I used it on one ear and I wouldn't use it on the other one. It hurt too much. <laughs> <laughs> but they got them now if you do it professionally, they just use like a hole punch. Yeah. Hole puncher. Just punch a hole with it. <laughs> Real quick like. Cat astrology. You know, if you do your tongue first, I'm you would surprised. never get your ears done. I'm surprised that you girls want to get your ears pierced. Why? Because you're both afraid of needles. I'm not. You're not? No, when I went to the doctor to get my shot, it didn't hurt. It felt like getting a pencil yeah, stuck in my arm. Yeah, hurts when uh, shots don't hurt. It, it's a scare to... Logan. Logan? I keep a needle in my arm all the time. Huh? I keep a needle in my arm all the time. Sounds painful. She does. Right there. Right there. Huh? Does your does your grandpa have one of them? What? Like she's got for diabetes? Yeah. Yeah. For on his arm? Yeah. See, he keeps a needle in his arm all the time, too. He keeps a needle in the arm all the time. He gives time. himself a shot in the stomach. Yeah, yeah she gives herself shots too. That's what's painful. And How is your grandpa? Oh, well, he was ill. He's all right now. He what? He's grumpy. He was ill, but he's all right now. He was ill, huh? Yeah. <laughs> they have the flu? Yep. Yeah. That ain't no fun. Well, Stephanie, They said the, what is it, the pandemic thing is up on the rise again. Yes, I heard that. You think that it and is? And they say this is supposed to be the worst flu season in 10 years. Huh? The worst flu season in a decade. What? Nothing. A ticket to your near sighted? Or far sighted, rather? Uh, far sighted. Yeah. I'm both. Oh. Like I can see things up close. 
But I can't see them that way. Well. Like I can't read the clock. That's why Cindy does. She takes the glasses off. Can't read the clock off. anyway. Read. It's not true, Granny. It is. It is. What time is it? Clock. What time is it? Two twenty-four. <laughs> Two twenty. No. Well, good for you. Two twenty-two. <laughs> that clock says two twenty-six. F. Currently, two twenty-five. <laughs> yeah, you need you a, a love seat recliner. Do what? A love seat recliner. They got them, you know. Them white they ones. got them. <laughs> you can have one on both sides. <laughs> when you get rid of this chair, can I keep it? I said I was going to keep it. <laughs> no, I want to keep it. <laughs> no. Boy, you also. Boy, you know what Nikki said, don't you? She was like, <laughs> right, she gonna go like, to the basement. It's not gonna fit in your room. That's what she said. It's not gonna fit in your room. I'll, I'll get in the garage or something. I'll get rid of my bed for the chair. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. You have to put it down in the basement. <laughs> I don't even think it rates the basement. It's the garage. <laughs> or shed. You got a shed? <laughs> no. Oh. No shed. Kathy, you know what I dreamed about the other night? I dreamed there was big worms in my yard. <laughs> and they was real big. They was about this big and about that big around. And they was, <laughs> and I would catch them two at a time and I'd put them under a bucket or so, you know. And, they, and I had their buckets all over the yard and there was a big worm. Ain't that stupid? Sounds like you watch Trimmer. <laughs> That was a big worm, buddy. <laughs> uh, so I, I must sleep some. <laughs> I guess you're worried about that little patch in the backyard, huh? That little what? The little patch that you had to baby oh. all year long or all summer long. Yeah. I finally got it fixed. I'm picking these shoes up. <laughs> you could put them outside. So they'll be cool when they put them on. Yeah. Just think, it's supposed to be minus five next week. Huh? Minus five next it's week. It's be five degrees next week? No, minus. Oh. That's Ooh, colder I'm than five. Zero. Oh my gosh! That's ten degrees colder than just five. <sighs> that's not gonna be what? exciting. I'm just gonna wear sweatpants and a sweater all day long. I think that's long. Thursday. Well, if it's gonna week. be that cold, it ain't gonna snow. Why? I thought it would snow it's too cold to snow. <laughs> See, I'm a tidy and a good tidy. Well, I'm looking at the leather to see what it is. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the leather to see what it is. You're looking at the weather, huh? I am. <laughs> well, I mean, it's 20 and you got? It's 20 and none. None. How many? Oh my However, gosh! Many boys have asked Nora hey. to be their girlfriend. Three. Four. Four. No, three. 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 How many you got? Three. Three. And I reject Well, which them. one do you really like? She says I don't really like huh? I have another she has a crush on Steven. Six degrees. Steven. Seven. Seven. That's Christmas Day. That's Christmas Day. Oh, my gosh. How? That's Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. 
going to be cold. You'll have to stay in the house. And we're supposed to have a snow. We might have a snow Christmas. I hope. We might have a white Christmas this year. We had it last year, didn't we? It snowed last year Christmas, right? Did we have a big snow last Christmas? No, not last Christmas. I don't believe so. It snowed a little bit. I think it was 2004? Yeah, 2004. Remember it? It was a big snow. Yeah, big, big snow. Friday is going to be 17 degrees, and Saturday is going to be 7 degrees. 7 degrees! Ooh! Mom's going to be freezing! Mom's going to go to Grandma Debbie's and then get something warm to wear. So it's going to be freezing. It's going to be freezing? Yeah! Do you have to go to school Thursday? You're probably already out, ain't you? I get off Wednesday! Huh? I get off Wednesday, sadly. Wednesday? Yeah. Not Friday. We usually get two weeks. We only get like okay. one week. Because Thursday, I think, is the day it's supposed to be super, super cold, right? No. Thursday said it was going to be 20 degrees. And Saturday is going to be... At cold. night? Oh. Uh, why not look at night? At night is when the coldness comes. I mean... Sunset on Saturday the 24th, the sun's going to set at 517. Oh, so Father, it's going to be 7 degrees on Friday. Seven. Saturday night is going to be 1 degrees. What? One.
research it all and get it all ready for him to write. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's a lot of, he does do a lot of writing. Is that one, is this two book, three books or just one? Maybe it's, uh, is these three different stories in here or just one? Three different stories, yeah. Yeah. And the French Kiss and the Christmas Mystery and French Twist. Mm. Avoy Comics, they bought one of my short stories will be published in soon. Yeah? Yeah. That's literally in a, a you know format like that though. It's not comic book art. It's yeah. short stories in the back of the books. Cool. Seems like I sent it to them like a year ago. I wrote it for them, and then uh, I gave up. I'm like, yeah, I guess they gonna. And they hit me up like, hey, you still for sale? Wow. And I was like, yeah, I made it for you. I didn't send it to anybody else. What? A story about a, uh, a guy around my age who's kind of having a midlife crisis, and he's going out into the woods to get his mind together. And these college kids end up dosing him on a bunch of drugs and he goes for a trip. Well, did they get his mind together then? <laughs> Not really. Mm. I was going to say, you know, that can be you. There's the woods. Yeah, the woods. yeah. Yeah. Um, and if uh, what's her name is over there, she might can help you do yeah, the trip. Yeah, yeah. I bet. She is a trip. I kind of enjoyed talking to her until she told me that the ghost of Mr. and Mrs. Tinker was out to get her. And yeah. that's why everything was going wrong over there and that whenever her man was wasn't um, being right, it was because Mr. Tinker comes into his body and it's really Mr. Yeah. Tinker. It's not him. Hmm. It's not him over there. It's the well, ghost I thought Mr. Tinker was just turning her eyes. I guess not. No, he's an evil spirit who wants to drive her out of the house because she burned a bunch of his and her clothes and old stuff, so now they're out to get her. That's, that's a little much for me. Better than the UFOs and stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I like wild thinking, creative thinking, but when you mix it with reality, I kind of get thrown off a little bit. Like, uh, she was saying something about punishing the kids and how she punished them, and I thought, this is not good. She, evidently, they had some kind of little swimming pool set up over there or something. Anyway, she wow. said she just held them under the water. Yeah? No. Yeah. Who? Her? Her kids, I guess. Huh. To make them mine. Yeah. Uh, okay. That's how I used to do NOLA. What? What? When you get me mad and I just hold your head under the toilet until you passed out. She don't remember that. It must have been very traumatic. <laughs> and Logan, I used to just tie her feet up by a rope and hang her upside down in the tree until the blood rushes to her head and then she'd pass out. Well, that'd be awful, Father. You'd be a terrible father, I think. You think so? I think you Well, now they got a big old head full of hair. Yeah. Yeah. I can just tie them to the bumper and take them for a ride. Yeah, you could. Put some roller skates on you and tie your hair to the bumper and tell you don't fall. Say, so if uh, Rita and Louise was around, they'd come up with some oh my God. goofy stuff for you guys to do. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Do you remember the game I used to tell you that Rita and Jimmy used to play with Louise? No. Huh? I was telling them. No, Father, no. You listening? Yes, I am. She used to have a little coffee table, huh. and she'd have them run in circles around the coffee table, and they thought it was fun. They thought it was fun. She'd have a belt. See how many times you get past her without getting licked? Yes. Yep. See, how, see how you could get past her without getting licked? And then the other one would laugh when the other one got hit. And uh, she'd be swacking them with that belt. 
and they'd be running, screaming, laughing. Ow! Right? You guys want to play that? No. We'll shoot a video. No. What about that one? Remember that one? I got my morning routine, Father. See? Remember that one? Stick your finger in there. Yeah, what was it? And she took her nail and just nailed oh, it in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, I forgot yeah. all about that. What? <laughs> she'd be like that. She'd be like, put your finger in there. And when you put your finger in there, she'd take her nail and she'd get you. Put your finger in there. Why would she do that? She... Did she like hurting people? I want her finger She is just right? honorary. Yeah, you do, don't you? I do. Oh, you remember when mouth. Grandpa did about yeah, putting your finger in his it. mouth and filling the, his really? bare tooth? Does that what he'd be like? Yeah. 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 Mom yeah. Had, mom, my mom had long fingernails. I will put them long. I don't know why yeah, she told she me when I was little. Kind of curve them, you know, she and said, and I'd always go up there. He'd be like, come here and we'll stir this up yeah. for you. That sounds painful. And he'd take his one finger and gives, uh, uh, and she said, I'd go up every time like, oh, yeah. Let me stir it up, he said. Yeah, let, let me stir, stir it up, up for you. <laughs> and, and I'd go over <laughs> I bet he started that up. Where's the bed? <laughs> now, like I said, the one I never did, and I remember Nancy being like, don't you do that. And that's when I first learned, don't always trust Grandma. Oh. You know, I mean, that was like my first time I learned, is when she wanted me, and we, I think we was here at this house. She was over here visiting. And she told me go get some ice oh, and the and salt hold and hold it as tight as I can, run three times around the house, and then open my hand to be a surprise. Nancy was like, don't you do that. Was she that was like, Mom, don't, don't be having him do that stuff. What does it do again? It, it'd eat into your flesh and give you a wound right yeah. in the middle of your hand. The what? The ice and the salt. Yeah. Squeeze it. <laughs> yeah. Let it eat into your skin. I never you did know, it because you, you know stopped what me from doing it. You know what Punky used to do? Cool. When it come a snow yay deep, Mom say, run around the house. We had a fence. Remember the fence? Mm -hmm. In order to run around the house, you had to jump the fence. Oh, yeah. So we had to climb it barefooted with our feet half froze to death. We had to do that three times. <laughs> you know why she had us do it? Why? Keep our feet warm at night when we go to bed. Oh, yeah, so you wouldn't complain? We couldn't even feel our feet. <laughs> <laughs> Climbing that fence hard. Not bad. <laughs> yeah, you know, Mom had all kinds of things. I was going to say, and then her big thing where she wasted my time all the time was having me try to get that salt on a bird's, bird's tail, tail feather. She said, if you get salt on a bird's tail feather, it can't fly. Right. And I'd be running around out in her yard, sneaking up on birds, tossing salt at them. And I'd be like, I swear the salt hit that one. She'd be like, no, it didn't. We it used flew to go off. snipe hunting, too. <laughs> Somebody would have to hold the bag, and then the rest of them would take and run the snipes in. Which there wasn't no such thing as snipes, so they just hold the bag all night long. Yeah. And I remember, I remember, uh... And Cindy was in on it first, but then Cindy got to where she was believing it, where Grandma had us trying to make fried snowballs. Oh, my God. She talked about that the other day. And she'd be like, you got to make sure there's enough salt in it or else it'll melt. And I remember, like, and I think, you know, Cindy told me, she was like, I started out, I knew it couldn't happen, but by the time we was doing it, and she had me convinced that if I, I put enough the salt, time. Oh, ice cream bar. Yeah. yeah, if if I got the right amount of salt in there, because if it's too much salt, it melts. If it's not enough salt, it melts. You got to have just the right amount of salt. We'd be sitting there at the stove with our skillets, making snowballs and trying to fry them, and they'd melt, of course. Yeah. <laughs> and we're like, they keep melting. We can't because it, it, it sounds right, sound yeah. good, fried snowballs. Sound like there'd be like a crispy layer on the outside, and, you know what I mean? Like, it yeah, sounds like we, a waste of your time. We never did figure out how to make those. You tell me now, about three years ago, I decided to get me a snowball, right? I ate it, and it was like dry. Seriously, it was dry. And I thought, this is weird. Would you believe that thing would not melt? We put fire under it, and it just made it black on the bottom. Yeah, uh, I've seen that. I can't it's remember. True. Yeah, I can't remember. There's there's some type of scientific reason why. Yeah. So, so yeah, 
the scientific reason of all the stuff the government's doing. That's the reason. We never had dry snowballs when I was growing up. Well, you never had the amount of pollution in the air that we got now either. Yeah. The world's different. I ain't eating no snowballs. Man, I used to love to eat snowballs, make snow cream. Yeah, I used to, you know, I mean, I used to put snow in my mouth. I don't, I don't know more. We used to eat ice cream all the time, get snow yep. cream. No ice cream. Yeah. Snow cream. What'd you do, just put sugar in it or something? Sugar and cream. Yeah. It was good. <laughs> just tastes like ice cream, didn't yep. it? <laughs> kind of a cross between ice cream and sugar. Like. What did I do? I played chocolate. I remember chicken every out. year. We'd get a great old big pan of snow, we'd bring it in the house, and we'd all eat out of it as fast as we could, you know, because it definitely would melt. It melted then, and then we'd just throw it out and go get some other pan. We ate snowball the whole time. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I've never ate snowball. Oh, my God. It doesn't sound like really. You know what another tradition was we had? Black walnuts. Going out on the stoop and breaking them open in the middle of the winter, get us a whole big pan of them, and we'd sit and eat black walnuts. I remember sitting there and with the nutcrackers cracking walnuts at no. Grandma's house. And the English little... walnuts. Yeah. 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 Yep. We'd sit there and pick them out of the little mm -hmm. grooves. Mm -hmm. We'd be over there picking them. We'd use a... <laughs> When we was a kid, we'd use a bobby pin. We'd be picking them out and we'd get them, you know, because you got to get close to it. Man, that bobby pin would flip me. <laughs> <laughs> then when I got road, I got the real picker. Where's the picker? Yeah. Television. Yeah, I remember we used to use the nail, too. Change the tap in the day, lost the nail. That was my first nut picker after bobby pins with the nail. I've got a big little check boxes here. Shake it off everywhere to make sure I got everything done. Okay. What's you all's Christmas uh, tradition here? What do you normally do Christmas? Do you eat, drink lots of hot chocolate normally or something or anything else? We watch Christmas movies usually. Hmm? So watch Christmas movies? Yeah. Which one do you like the best? I'll be home alone. Yeah, well, well it's been on. Yeah, Every time like I look, it's on TV. Yeah. Huh? Every time I look, it's on TV. Alone and alone two and one and all that. And they like Elf. Yeah. Oh, oh, feral elf. Yeah. Yeah, it's been on too. Santa Claus movie with your boy from Stranger Things? No. 